What's going on guys, Chappers are here for another New Tino News video. First thing I talk about is the legend himself, um, a Destiny clan, did the Volaglass raid with only three people. Not only did they do it with three people, but after doing that, they wanted to one-up themselves and they minus one player and they did it with only two people. And they have video proof right down here in a video that has them doing it in just over an hour they completed it with only two people. And that is pretty crazy considering that there have been teams that have had six people and it's taken them about three hours to do, somewhere around there. So for two people to do it in a little over an hour, that is just crazy. And uh, if you want to check out the video, it's right here, uh, two people doing it. They did it on the normal uh, difficulty. Uh, it'd be crazy to think that they'd be able to do it on the hardest difficulty. Um, but they'll probably try to attempt that. I wouldn't doubt that. Um, you know, if you don't know what the Vault of Glass is, it is the only raid that is currently in Destiny right now. Of course, more raids are going to be coming with the two DLCs that are uh, already announced, one in December and one in sometime in 2015. Um, it's six people required to do it. Well, not required, but six people very highly suggest suggested to do it. And, um, you know, there's no matchmaking, so it's you and you have to find five other people to do it with. And uh, usually you want to have good chemistry with them and good teamwork. And these guys must have had some fantastic teamwork to do it with two people in a little over an hour. So if you want to check it out, it's right here. I'll put it down in the description. It is very mind-blowing. Next thing, Destiny Iron Banner event is now going on. Um, in the uh, Crucible, you know, you have fairness, whatever. You know, your exotic weapon is not, you know, going to outpower the other guy's weapon. if he's just starting out, like, at a level 5 or whatever. Um... <clears throat> and there's also a new added part to the tower where you can, you know, take all your cool stuff and get rewards and all that. There's now Iron Banner uh, quests and blah, 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 blah. Um, you can earn legendary gear and you get better stuff from uh, beating other teams in the Iron Banner and all the stuff. So if you want to read about it, it's right here. And then the last thing to talk about right now is the Destiny Legendary Ingram Farming Guide updated. So now that they've uh, patched all the farming locations for the loot caves and uh, all that good stuff, they have now, and what I mean they, they the people that play Destiny, have now found a new loot cave. Now this is on um, the Cosmodrone on Earth. And it's actually pretty much where you start out when you're going on a patrol mission. Um, all you gotta do is go a little to the right and you gotta go to this little uh, barn if you want to call it that. It's got stairs and all this stuff. And in this video they just show you where you have to be standing so they can spawn there. And it's a pretty good farming thing. The only problem with it is that there are enemies that spawn um, outside and they block the spawns of the enemies that you're trying to kill that are, you know, the you're farming them. So you have to send somebody outside and kill those guys so that your guys that you're trying to kill inside the barn um, we'll keep on spawning. So um, that's the video right there if you want to check it out. Um, and they'll probably patch it now that there's a video about it. See, that's the thing. You know, you want to show your friends. You want to show everybody that you found a new loot cave. But the thing is, Bungie sees this too. And now they're probably going to patch it. So, yeah. Uh, now we're going to talk about Halo. So let's talk about Halo 2 Anniversary's campaign. A um, little bit of a sad face. Halo 2 Anniversary's campaign is not going to be 1080p. Now, they tried their best to make it 1080p, but in the end, they really couldn't. They really couldn't push the uh, console, their game, any further. But they tried to get it as close as they could. It's going to run at 1328 by 1080 resolution, which is about 720p, which really, the 720p and 1080p, there really isn't that big of a difference, you know, f when you're looking at it with the naked eye. Um... You know, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Um, you know, I'm not... You know, it's going to be fantastic looking at the new graphics and, you know, it's pretty. But I just want to play the campaign just for the nostalgia feeling and, you know, it's going to be awesome. Um, but the rest of the game, everything else is going to be in 1080p, 60 frames per second. They just wanted to reassure everyone to not be worried. It's only going to be the campaign that's going to be 720p instead of 1080p. Um... So yeah, but if you want to play Halo 2 Classic campaign, that's going to be 1080p. It's only the Halo 2 anniversary because all the graphics, all the stuff that they had to put in, um, the console just cannot perfectly run at 1080p, so they had to drop it to 720, which isn't that big of a deal. Um, so yeah, I'm still excited for the campaign. And we're going to be getting some new medals um, coming to Halo 1 and Halo 2 when it releases November 11th. Um, 
So Halo Bulletin came out and Bravo will release um, a lot more images of the new medals coming to the Master Chief Collection this fall. Um, I guess what he says is, in thinking about multiplayer medal design for Halo Master Chief Collection, we wanted to be mindful of how players new and old want to track their accomplishments, and this is one of the reasons we allow medal display for Halo CE and Halo 2 Classic to be toggled on and off in-game. When medal display is toggled off, medals are still tracked for the uh, post-game carnage report and metal chest, so you'll be able to maintain a record of your accomplishments, even if you prefer the classic look when playing multiplayer. So if you're playing the campaign, um, you're playing the multiplayer, and you want to turn on, turn off medals, you can do that. Um, or you can leave them on, you know, but either way, it's going to track them, and you're going to be able to see how many medals, you know, how many sniper sprees, how many overkills you have, etc., etc. Um, all original medals from Halo 3 and Halo 4 are included, and legendary medals have been added to each. Halo 3 Anniversary Multiplayer will also include new medals for game modes such as Race, Infection, Assault, and Ricochet. Um, so looking at all these, uh, we've got a Staketacular medal now. Um, the, we've got a bunch of old school ones here, so if you want to check them out, they're all here. There's a lot to talk about. So, yeah. Alright, um, uh, talking about Warlock. Warlock is not going to have an interactive element. Now, what an interactive element is, let's take Ascension, uh, for example, which is now going to be called Zenith. Um, there are three buttons on the map, and if you press one of the buttons, then a bubble shield, a blue bubble shield that is impenetrable from the outside. You can walk in it and kill the people that are inside, but you know, you shoot a rocket at it, shoot a banshee bomb, it's not going to do anything. Um, it'll appear in the middle of the map, and you can hide in a lot of stuff. So that is what an interactive element is. Or the stalactites, for instance, on Lockout, there's three stalactites on the ceiling. One that kills the people that are on Sniper Ramp, one that kills the people that are on BR3, and one that kills people that are top mid. Um, so yeah, there's not going to be anything like that for Warlock. Uh, some of these maps, they just, you know, um, Zanzibar doesn't have an uh, interactive element either. Some of these maps, they just wanted to leave untouched because they feel like if they um, put an interactive element that they didn't think was going to work, then it kind of ruined the you know gameplay. So um, when you're playing, and if you don't like these interactive elements that are on Ascension and other maps... You know, they just thought that it was going to fit in there, and they also said they tried out some interactive elements on Warlock, and they just felt like it was just going to ruin the gameplay, so that's why there's not going to be any of that, which I think is fantastic, because I don't think we really need any on uh, the competitive maps, even though I do like this stalactite idea on the uh, competitive map lockout. Um, and they still have not announced if there's going to be an interactive element on Quagulation. Um... And then we have new Halo 2 Anniversary Warlock pictures and footage if you want to check it out. There's a uh, walkthrough. They show off the Sentinel Beam. The Sentinel Beam is actually going to be more powerful than it was in the original Halo 2 game. Uh, they're going to be showing what the Oddball looks like. The Oddball is now, it literally looks sicker. It's on fire. Um, I think you can still throw it, which is kind of, you know, retarded. But, you know, it's on the Halo 4 engine, so. But the map looks beautiful. The trees everywhere. The, maps look, the map looks like it's 10 years old. It's fantastic. And then the last thing to talk about is, of course, the Halo channel. Um, finally, we're going to be having a Halo channel developer walkthrough with Kiki Wolfkill and then somebody that works with IGN. Um, IGN, um, until the game comes out, they're going to be releasing one new thing each day. And I, I'm just, I love it that they're doing this because, um, you know, me included, I uh, cannot wait for this game to come out. I'm anxious, I'm antsy. My adrenaline's pumping, like, I'm just so bored, and I just, just when this game comes out, it's just going to be a freaking, I'm, like, the servers are probably going to crash when this game comes out. There's going to be so many people that are going to be playing this. They're going to be probably pulling two all-nighters back-to-back. Um, but with the Halo channel, uh, basically, if you don't know what it is, they've talked about it a bunch before. Um, so, this only activates for you if you are uh, streaming. So, if nobody streams, then the Halo channel is basically not going to work as a spectator mode like we want it to in esports. So, as long as you're streaming, you can stream with the Xbox One or from Twitch, doesn't matter, using your capture card. But here's how it works. So, in the middle of the screen, it's going to be your gameplay, whatever you're doing. On the right hand side, there's going to be the chat, you know, whatever people in your chat are saying. Left hand side, it's going to be. Um, Telling you what game you're playing, if you're playing Halo Combat Evolved or Halo 4 or whatever. And then just going to uh, say the mode, Team Slayer, Capture the Flag, Audible, whatever. And then it's going to say the map, so Sanctuary, Ascension, whatever. And then it's going to have the kill feed, you know. You killed this guy, this guy just killed you, he killed your friend, etc. And then on the bottom hand on the screen, you're going to have the red team and the blue team, or green, yellow, orange, whatever. And you're going to have the score for each team constantly updating within each second that the other team gets a kill or capture the flag or each second that they get for the king of the hill or oddball or whatever. And then um, they're going to have each 
person on the red team and blue team roster, their gamer tag, their name, whatever. And then they're going to have each person's uh, kills, their deaths, and then add it up for their KD. So it's going to be really sick. Um, this is a fantastic spectator, but even if it isn't in, um, embedded into the game, it is still fantastic. And then also, that's not even the only thing you're going to be getting with the Halo Channel. That's going to be the main thing for competitive players. But if you're a casual, they're going to have tons of stuff, news each day. They're going to have videos. They're going to have tips, tricks. Um, they're going to keep updating it every single day, and it's going to be on the Xbox One. And also, if you have a Windows 8 phone or a Windows 8 computer, I have both, you're going to be able to use it on those too. So, um, this is really sick, and I'm very excited for it. It's something that the Halo community has wanted, you know, something like a spectator mode for so long now, and I'm excited that it's coming. Um, but other than that, I'm going to be making another Need to Know News video tomorrow. I'll be, I'm gonna, this is going to be updating a little later tonight, because I'm going to be streaming before this. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys tuned in for it. Um, but other than that, I'm Temporistic. Make sure you like, favorite, comment, share, subscribe, all that. I'm loving the support. We got over 100 subscribers. I'm excited. Hopefully, we can get to 200. Um, before I die, but we'll see. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the news. Hope you guys are excited for Halo um, Master Chief Collection and Halo 2 Anniversary. Um, awesome, the content that they're pumping out. Pumping out. And um, tomorrow I'm going to be talking about the playlist that they announced today. So this is kind of a late, but there's so much news and I can't really keep up with it because I'm working on all this stuff. But uh, uh, tomorrow I'm going to be talking about the playlist that they have announced. So I'm excited for that. And I'm, I'm really excited to tell you guys what um, the playlists are going to be at launch. So... Without further ado, I'm Tepperizic. Have a good night, guys. Peace out.